Winning our senior showmanship and receiving a blue is Elizabeth Gunst. Second and receiving a blue is Emma Paulson. Third and receiving a blue is Ian Spoke. Fourth and receiving a blue is Lisa Zupke. And those four individuals will also be eligible to compete in our Masters Showmanship Contest. Five and receiving a blue is Mar Mara Skalitsky. Sixth and receiving a blue is Gisela Vila. Seventh and receiving a blue is Trey Hildebrandt. Eighth and receiving a blue Nolan Ultratrider. Ninth and receiving a red, Tia Hildebrandt. Tenth and receiving a red, Soya Pitterly. Eleventh and receiving a red, Abby Record. Twelfth and receiving a red, Kylie Casper. Thirteenth and receiving a red, Claire Bingham. Fourteenth and receiving a red, Kelsey Warmka. Fifteenth and receiving a white, Nicole Rigger. Sixteenth and receiving a white, Paige Lester, and 17th and receiving a white, Adeline Noss. Those now entering the ring are those in contention for our Supreme Champion Showman. In our first year showman, grades five and older, first went to Molly Danielson and second to Zoe Keener. Our junior division was won by Malcolm Spoke and second to Caitlin Friesen. Winning our intermediate division was Vivian Lichty, and second was Avery Skalitsky. And the class just competed, completed was our senior showmanship, won by Elizabeth Gunst, and second to Emma Paulson. Let's put our hands together and show our appreciation and congratulations to these individuals. Again, I'd like to reintroduce our judge for the last couple days. We've been lucky to have Tanner Morrison from Montgomery, Minnesota. He grew up on a dairy in southeastern Minnesota, went to the University of Minnesota, uh, was on the judging team there, and is currently a nutritionist for ADM. Let's put our hands together and show our appreciation and thanks for all the work that Tanner has done the last couple of days working with your youth.
If there are any individuals that are intending on showing in the Junior Bridges Showmanship Contest, you should be on deck outside our show arena at this time.
This is a pretty cool deal here for our overall. Um, I just uh, pulled out these five here. I just think that they're a little bit uh, at the top of the level here compared to a couple other ones that are out in this class. I had them switch their animals a little bit. I just kind of wanted to see it, and actually none of them did it. Um, but uh, I wanted to see them go out and, and select that animal that they were going to go see. I want to see them appraise that animal. I want them to go out and take a look at them, walk around her, um, and, and see what they think about that animal before they actually get onto that halter. Because when you're going and you're asking these kids to come in and show animals for you, they got to understand what the qualities are in that heifer, what the things that they need to work on on that heifer, and hide when they're in that ring. So um, that's something that each and every one of you guys can just kind of take in take in and, and, and pick up as you move forward here because those are things that are very important if you get to that next level and you got people that are asking you to come out and show their animals for them. Um, so just keep that in mind. But I think each one of these guys did an exceptional job. I'm going to go out here and I'm going to select your overall and your reserve uh, in that order. And when I do so, please give them a big round of applause. But I'll have you guys uh, kind of hype this up a little bit and uh, I'm going to ask you guys to enjoy me and, and doing some big claps here as I get out there and, and select your champion. So. Well, I was told that we've got uh, two uh, relations out here between two brothers, so there's going to be some duking it out back in the barns after they get out of here. Uh, I think that, like I said before, I, I mean, these kids are just flawless out here. This is by far one of the most competitive showmanships I've ever seen. Um, I think that each one of these kids are certainly deserving of this title. But the young lady with that Jersey cow, uh, she just separates herself. I think she just does an absolutely flawless job on the move. Um, and and when, you, when you're working with cows and stuff, it's definitely uh, a little bit harder to do. And she certainly keeps that cow rolling and, and hits that stride perfectly. And she's always got that gorgeous head carriage on her. She keeps those ears floored. I think she just does an exceptional job. Young ladies, black calf there that's coming out for reserve just follows that same kind of style. And, and, and when she tracks out on the move, she just doesn't miss a beat. That calf is just super smooth when she's out rolling around that ring. And she's got that gorgeous head carriage. The thing that we talked about before was just she just likes to twist that head just a little bit um, every once in a while. I just like to see her pull that back into place um, to get around the one in front of her. But two, two ultra supreme style showmen right there. And uh, for your honorable mention, it's close between all three of these guys, but I just love that this kid comes out here and he just looks at me like if I'm not going to pick him, he's going to kick my butt. I, just, I think he's just awesome when he gets out here. He's got that game face on. Um, I love that about you, buddy. Keep that style. I'd like to roll with that all day long, too. One more time, give all these kids a big round of applause. Congratulations. Wounding your Supreme Showman is Elizabeth Gunst. Second went to Emma Paulson. Third went to Finn Spoke, beating his big brother, Malcolm Spoke. If the kids could put their animals away and come back for the um, auction meeting, we'll let you know who will be in the auction. Right now coming in will be our junior britches class.
commerce. This is always kind of a cool little class when you got all these uh, up and comers uh, coming through the ring here, and certainly we've got a few showman stars in the future um, that are coming through the year. I think uh, there's a couple of them that did a fantastic job at answering a few of my questions. The young lady to my left here was uh, very enthusiastic about a few of her questions or a few of her answers that I, I uh, asked her questions for, and, and she was very thorough with it. I was very impressed by that. A couple of these kids do an awesome job at being out here by themselves and, and handling those calves exceptionally well. So uh, I'd just like everybody to join me in giving these guys a big round of applause. Congratulations. Those individuals out here in the Junior Bridges contest were Hattie Smith, Kayla Weiss, Raylan Teets, Ivan Peters, Lydia Lee, Josie Long, and Zachary Zwald. I think uh, Dodge County uh, 4-H program and Junior Holstein program looks bright with these individuals, and so we look forward to them being in the 4-H program very, very soon. Let's put our hands together and congratulate all of them. Open class exhibitors, we will plan to start the open class at 1 o'clock.
I get, I don't know if you got, did you get your check or? Okay. They were supposed to be delivering you the check from a comparable, but I don't know if yours is in there too or not.
Tension in the barns. The open class show will start in 10 minutes and we will be showing alternate by breeds. So get all your spring calves over here and we'll start with that. Check with the Junior Association is right there. Perfect. We're still working on the open show check, okay. but I'll, I'll, if we don't have it by the time we're done showing, I will get it for you. So. No, we're good. No worries. I'm not so worried about okay. it. So. Head back tonight? Or? I think so. Yeah, I got to go check the country and back to this. Oh. No, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't mind doing this whole judging thing. It's kind of my first year doing it. I mean, I judge the collegiate thing, but I haven't done that different, show. So different it's world. way different. Oh, you did an excellent job with the, did the, the way that make you laugh, is that what you Oh, mean? yeah, he just, he, I can't even remember how he said it, but he just said something so funny because he's his brother's heifer, yeah, heifer. Yeah, and I asked him what he, what he likes about her, he's like, I don't like this heifer, she's my brother, or something like that, yeah. and I'm just like, God, he just, he's just so straightforward about it, and just like, you know. He was honest to me, <laughs> and he did a good job, I'm not saying he didn't, but I was just, you know, I could tell he made you laugh, and I think oh, after one you over, so there it is. And the whole time, he's been coming in the Disconcerting after a while. So. <laughs> they can get by with it when they're little. Yeah. But. Yeah. No, he he's never been, I'd say, relaxed or yeah. open about doing it. Yeah. 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 He was he was pretty tense too when yeah. I was asking him a couple questions. You know, he was a little nervous. Yeah. 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 I thought that was the show was kind of forced to do it immediately. I thought he said it pretty well. Yeah. Didn't know the question. Yeah. Before. She was an angel. And you know, I was kind of disappointed because she was my winner right away. And then I'm like, oh man, that's telling me that you're not the one.
Yeah, Jersey, Jersey was giving Jersey, you know, she had a tap gun. Lazy on her, you know, and that was a big problem. Yeah, oh, for sure, for sure. But, yeah, they both definitely need to stop kicking in the front of these two. That was, that was the most difficult. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, my opinion. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I thought so, too. Because everything else seemed to sort of sell off, you know, pretty easy. Right. Never hurts. No, it's all right. It's all right. If we are ready, we can start bringing in our spring calves. If you people would clear the ring a little bit, we will get going here. Mr. Morrison has a long drive home to the fair state of Minnesota. We need a couple of spring Holstein heifer calves.
Certainly an exceptional group of uh, spring calves here to start off our open show today. I'll go ahead with the young ladies heifer coming out in first. The heifer, that's a, a very high style kind of a heifer. You love that, that silkiness that she has. She's got that beautiful open sweepness to that rib structure. She's got that gorgeous depth and drop of forerib and rear rib to go with it. And I give her the advantage and width all the way through over the heifer coming out in second. I just prefer that width of chest that she has and she carries it all the way back to a wider set of hip spins and thurls. Taking nothing away from the calf coming out in second. That's a very correct made calf all the way through. She's very straight in her lines. I prefer the shoulder on this heifer a little bit better than the one coming out in first. I'd just like to see a little bit more to that calf. I'd like to see a little bit more spring to the top of that rib cage and see her hand on those hind wheels a little bit better. She tends to just hock in a little, little more than the calf coming out in first, but a really, really nice high style kind of calf there in second. Young Ladies Heifer coming out in third is another one that has a gorgeous rib structure to her. You love the beautiful depth of, and openness that she has to it. I just like to see her blend into that shoulder a little bit nicer today, clean her up into that throat region uh, a little bit more as well. Young Ladies Red Calf there coming out in fourth is another one that fits that same kind of mold. You love the beautiful silhouette that she possesses there all the way through. She's got a gorgeous rib structure to her. I just like to see her blend into that shoulder ever so slightly and stretch her out from end to end. Young lady's calf coming out next is one that uh, you certainly appreciate her for her length from end to end. She's got a gorgeous long head and neck to her, one that maybe you just like to see her come out of that chine a little bit nicer, show me a little bit more drop to that rear flank a little bit, and maybe see her track out on those hind legs a little bit more comfortable, show me a little less set today. Young man's red calf coming out next is a really pretty profile calf. She's maybe not as big as some of the other ones that are in this class. A calf maybe you'd like to just tuck those pins down ever so slightly, but a really, really nice class overall. Congratulations. Congratulations to them. Give them a big round of applause. Winner of that class was Heat and Soul Tat Emma, exhibited by Sean Nails of Hoostis Ford, Wisconsin. Second went to the Travis Smith family, third to Rebecca Schrafnagel, fourth to Myla Ehrlich. We now have Brown Swiss Spring Cavs. Single entry here for our Brown Swiss March Calf class, certainly one that could stand some competition. You certainly appreciate the dariness that this calf has. She goes with a, a, a beautiful front end on her. She stands straight forward on those front feet. Maybe one that uh, is almost a little too dairy. You'd like to just see a little bit more to this calf all the way through. Maybe show me a little more refinedness about that hawk, but a really, really nice calf in her own right. Give the young lady a big round of applause. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Powerline Sky High Mission, exhibited by Kendallin Waddell of Waterloo, Wisconsin. Now we have Jersey Spring Calves.
three really nice calves here in our Jersey Spring Calf class. I think a heifer that comes to the top quite handily for me. A heifer that's just a lot more square made all the way through. She's straighter over that top line. I prefer uh, the, the angularity that she has over the, over the calf coming out in second. I think she tracks a little bit more uh, correct on those hind legs as well. Yeah, give them, give them a big round of applause. There you go. Calf in second, uh, I, I, I prefer uh, the overall mass that she has over the calf in third. I think she's just longer from end to end all the way through. A calf that just shows me a little bit more spring to the top of that rib cage. I prefer the set on that hawk compared to the calf coming out in third. Calf in third is certainly has a, a tremendous depth of body for, for her size. That's a, that's a lot of calf in a little package there. I just like to see her knock down that tail head ever so slightly, put those thoroughs a little bit more centrally located, and see her walk a little bit more comfortable on the move, but a really nice class. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Paulson Crest CC Fireball, exhibited by Tammy Paulson of Columbus. Second went to Danica Schrafnagel, and third to Kendlin Waddle of Waterloo. Sorry about the mispronunciation of the name. Holstein winter calves.
Really nice class of winter calves here. I think the young ladies heifer that comes up to the top finds a hole for me quite handily. I think this heifer is just a super straight line. A heifer that's hard top and handles on those hind legs very, very well. You love how she comes out of that front end into that head and neck so beautifully. A heifer that tracks really straightforward and correct. Um, I'm comfortable with winning that heifer all day long. Young ladies heifer coming out in second. I think you could switch her with this uh, third place one if you wanted to. I wouldn't argue against it, but for me today, I prefer how she blends into that shoulder a little bit more. I think she's a little fuller into that crops region, and she just shows me a little bit more coming out of that trying compared to this heifer coming out in fourth. Heifer in fourth, you love the angularity that this heifer possesses. You love that beautiful sweeping rib that she has. I just like to see her fill into that shoulder a little bit more to get around the one in front of her. Young lady's white heifer here coming out next is one that I think is gorgeous in terms of her front end. She comes out of that shoulder into that chine beautifully. I just like to see this one knock those pins down ever so slightly, maybe place that thorough a little bit more centrally located, and I'd like to see that one be a little bit more athletic out on the move. She tends to just walk around the ring a little stiff today, but a really, really nice heifer in her own right. Young man's red heifer coming out next is very correct heifer in this class. She just gets into some deeper water. I just like to see her a little bit longer from end to end and maybe size her up a little bit more. Then the gentleman's black calf coming out to round the class off is one. You just like to see a little bit more drop to that rib cage today and maybe clean her up in the thigh ever so slightly, but a really nice class. Give them a big round of applause. Winner of that class was Ledgeway Cell Whiskey Girl, exhibited by Jaden Bachleitner of Juno. Second went to Daniel Bone, third to Daniel Kempfer, and fourth to Paula Schmitz. We now have Guernsey Winter, a Guernsey Winter Cap, and she's the only Guernsey Junior animal on the in the show. Just a single entry here in our Guernsey Heifer Show today. Um, a heifer that definitely could stand some competition. I think this heifer's got a gorgeous front end on her. You love how she comes out of that shoulder into that head and neck. She's got that gorgeous long lean neck to her. Uh, a calf that's really refined in her bone work all the way through. Since she's the only Guernsey in this show, we're gonna go ahead and name her your junior champion Guernsey as well. Please give the young man a big round of applause. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Nifall Drone Rain, exhibited by Michael Waddle of Waterloo. I forget easily. We now have Brown Swiss Winter Calves. Another solo entry here as we get into our brown Swiss ring in the winter calf class, certainly one that could stand some competition as well. A heifer that's so long in her makeup, I think this heifer's got this so much length and going in from that head and neck all the way into that midsection of the body, coming out into that hips and pins. You love the squareness about that rum structure that she has. Maybe if you were to pick on her, you'd like to just clean her up into that neck ever so slightly and show me a little bit more width as she tracks out from behind, but a really, really nice brown Swiss calf. Give her a big round of applause. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Powerline Sky, no, Powerline Thunder Rain ET, exhibited by Kenlin Waddle of Waterloo. We now have Fall Holstein Heifer Calves.
Nice class of fall calves here. I'm going to go ahead and use the white heifer coming out in first. I think this heifer is just a very high style kind of a heifer. Certainly she can give you some looks where she doesn't want to cooperate and, and present herself to, to the nines. But uh, one that I think when you get her out and get her rolling, this heifer is so refined about that bone work. I love the silkiness that she possesses. She's got that beautiful front end on her. She comes out of that, that shoulder into that head and neck region so beautifully. She's long and lean all the way through. And I prefer the length from end to end on this heifer. She's longer in that neck. Has more length to that midsection of the body and she's longer from hooks to pins compared to the calf coming out in second. Calf in second is very, very similar in the makings compared to the one in front of her. I think they're very, very close in terms of their overall straightness of lines and quality all the way through. Another one that's very silky in her hide. Just like to see a little bit more drop to that rear flank and, and stretch her out in that neck in particular to get her around the one in front of her. The black heifer coming out in third is one that kind of sits, fits that same mold. A very straight line kind of a heifer. Just doesn't quite have the drop of rib today to get around the ones in front of her. I like to maybe knock that tail head down ever so slightly as well. Heifer coming out in fourth is another one that uh, is very balanced heifer all the way through. She blends so smoothly into that front end. I maybe just like to square up on those front feet. She tends to toe out ever so slightly, and I just make, make her a little bit more refined about that hock. She's got a little bit of fluid in the front of that hock there. I just like to clean that up a little bit. Calf coming out next is one that uh, hits you really nice on the profile. You love the balance that she possesses. She's very square made, but when you get behind her, you just like to clean her up all the way through. She's just carrying a little bit extra condition, particularly in those pins and into that thigh. I just like to clean her up and dairy her up. Maybe show me a little bit more spring to the top of that rib, but a really nice heifer in her own right. Two, two red heifers coming out next are, are, are two individuals that are very similar in their making as well. Two ultra refined and angular heifers all the way through with hard tops and square rumps. I just maybe like to see how they handle on those hind legs a little bit better and maybe fill them in a little bit, show me a little bit more substance all the way through. Almost a little too reeled off today, but a, a really, really nice group of heifers all the way through. Give them a big round of applause. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Rydell Ridge Showtime Anna, exhibited by Ashley Christian of Oconomowoc. Second to Allison Grilke, third to Daniel Bone, fourth to Aaron Bone. We're now at Brown Swiss Fall Camps. Jer Jersey, sorry. Look like jerseys to me. We surely got a lot of quality in this Jersey Fall Calf class. There's only two of them in here, so you don't got a lot of quantity, but the quality is definitely there. This first place heifer that comes out, she's lights out good. I think the width all the way through on this heifer is, is just tremendous. She's got that beautiful uh, rib structure to her as well, and she's, just, she's got a lot of style to go with that um, to complement that, that power that she's got all the way through. You love the front end on this heifer. She's just got that gorgeous sweeping rib to her all the way through. And when you get behind her, you absolutely love the width that she has to the hips and pins. She's got a beautiful tail that tucks really nice into that then pin setting and she tracks out on a tremendous set of feet and legs that's a really really high quality kind of individual there young man's heifer coming out here in second kind of fits that similar mold uh heifer that you really love the rib structure development on this heifer she's got a gorgeous sweeping rib to her as well one that's very clean and long through that head and neck region maybe just like to see her a little stronger over that top line and knock that tail head down ever so slightly but a really really nice individual in her own right as well give those two a big round of applause congratulations Winner of that class was Synergy Lickety Split ET, exhibited by Mandy Sell. 
Second went to Ashley Schlender. We're now showing the Ayrshire Junior uh, Spring Yearling? Summer Yearling. A really nice Ayrshire here for uh, for the Ayrshire show, heifer show, uh, heifer that you love the angularity and quality that this heifer possesses. I think she's really fine in all the way through her bone work and quality. She's got a lot of length all the way through. You love that head carriage that she has. Uh, she'll be your junior champion Ayrshire as well. Give her one big round of applause. Congratulations. The winner of that class and the junior champion was Old Bankston Pretzel Sweet Twin. Exhibited by Michael Waddle of Waterloo. Brown Swiss summer yearlings. Really nice class of brown Swiss summer yearlings. I think this individual that starts the class is certainly a, a very uh, high style kind of a heifer. She's got that silkiness to that hide. She's very, she's just a, a very, very high style kind of an animal. She's got that hard top to her all the way through. She'd be fine about that hock. Maybe if you're going to pick on this heifer, I would like to see just a little more flex to that hock and she gets around the ring, but a really, really nice individual in her own right. Young man's heifer coming out in second, one that uh, is a, certainly a girthy heifer from end to end. She's long and tall all the way through. She's got that beautiful width of that rum structure. I just like to see her come out of that shoulder into that chine a little harder today, maybe flatten it out over that loin ever so slightly, but a really nice individual in her own right as well. Then the young lady's heifer here coming out in third is one that you appreciate the power and width that she possesses all the way through. You just like to clean her up from end to end to get around the ones in front of her, but a really nice group. Give them a big round of applause. Winner of that class was Holy Air Fire Burning, exhibited by Donna Damro of Juno. Second went to Michael Waddle, and third to Taylor Fletcher.
Nice class of spring yearlings here. I think uh, the heifer that starts off this class is probably from a functional standpoint, the most uh, no holes kind of heifer today. I think she just blends a little bit more smoothly into that shoulder today and comes out of that chine a little sharper compared to the heifer coming out in second. Heifer in second certainly is one that you admire from the profile. I think uh, she's a very well balanced heifer all the way through. I just like to clean her up from end to end and maybe knock that tail head down a little well, just to get it around that one in front of her, but two really, really nice heifers. The heifer in third here, I think, to be honest with you, this class you could switch them three different ways, and I wouldn't argue with you. I just prefer, I'm a big structural kind of guy, and I just prefer the, the refinements of bone work in the two ahead of her. I prefer the set to the hock on the two ahead of her. I think when you get her from behind, she just doesn't want to square up quite as nice as the ones in front of her as well. But, but three really, really nice individuals. Give them a big round of applause. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Red Rodeo, Absolute Bella Red, exhibited by Angela Pyrick. Second went to Angela Pyrick, and third to Marissa Spoke. A really nice uh, spring yearling, or excuse me, uh, summer yearling jersey here. A heifer that uh, you, you just love uh, the silhouette on this heifer as well. I think she's a very well balanced and complete kind of a heifer. She's got a lot of quality and angularity all the way through. And she matches that up with uh, tremendous width all the way through. I think that that heifer's got a, a gorgeous rump structure. She's got the thoroughs right smack in the middle where they need to be. I, I like the slope to that heifer's rump structure. And she's got a tail that sits beautifully between that pin setting. A really, really nice individual in her own right. Give that lady a round of applause. Congratulations. Winner of that class was C.M. Kid Rock Tilly, exhibited by Kendallin Waddle of Waterloo. Now we have a Jersey Spring yearling. Jersey Spring yearling, and then we will do the Jersey Champion run. Really nice jersey heifer here to, to round out our jersey classes in the spring yearling division here. A heifer that you certainly can appreciate her for the width and mass that this heifer demonstrates. She's hard over that top line. She's got width to that rum structure. Maybe if you're going to critique her, you just like to peel a little bit of that condition off of her. But she's a heifer that's already been bred and ready to roll for the springtime there. A really nice individual. Give her a big round of applause. Winner of that class was Red Rodeo Big and Rich Vermeer, exhibited by Angela Pyrick. We will now have the Jersey Junior Champion run.
Our Jersey champion run will consist of a spring calf from Tammy Paulson and a spring calf from Danica Schrafnagel, a fall calf from Mandy Sell, and a fall calf from Ash Ashley Slender, a summer yearling from Kendallin Waddle, and a spring yearling from Angela Pyrick. Well, there's not a, a, a whole lot of uh, quantity out here, but certainly there's a lot of quality between these individuals. We've got five of them out here that uh, I think are exceptional jerseys in their own right. Two spring calves down there. You love, you love the style and angularity that they possess. You got these two heifers in the middle here. You got your first place uh, fall calf there. That's uh, just a gorgeous individual in terms of her overall quality and balance that she possesses. And then that uh, summer then follows that same kind of pattern. She's a very silky highly kind of individual with a gorgeous front end on her and carries somewhat to go with it. And then you got your spring yearling there that's going to be due here, come around into the first of the year there. One that uh, maybe is carrying a little extra condition, but you certainly got to appreciate her for that that beautiful front end that she has. She's long, clean about that head and neck, and she blends very smoothly into that front third. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and announce your junior champion from the mic here, and that's going to be that fall calf. There should be your JC. Congratulations to her. For reserve, it gets a little closer, but I think I'm going to stick with that summer year, and she'll follow up for your reserve junior champion. Congratulations, you guys. Give them a big round of applause. Junior champion was Synergy Lickety Split ET, exhibited by Mandy Sell. The reserve junior champion was CM Kid Rock Tilly, exhibited by Kendallin Waddle of Waterloo. Holstein Spring Yearlings.
Two spring yearlings here in our Holstein ring and two individuals that are, are definitely a complete different kind of heifers. We've got a, a very uh, powerful heifer coming out here in first with a gorgeous rib structure to her. Uh, maybe not uh, the most ideal on those hind set of feet and legs, but I think she's adequate enough to go ahead and win this class. I think that I just prefer she just overwhelms the, the heifer coming out in second in terms of her overall mass and depth all the way through. She's hard top. She's square about that rump structure, and I prefer how she handles that rump structure and keeps those pins down compared to the heifer coming out in second. Heifer in second certainly is one that is maybe a little bit more refiner about her, her bone work, but one that uh, is almost a little too straight in her leg. I'd like to see a little bit more flex to that hock. I'd like to see this heifer a little bit cleaner all the way through and show me a little bit more depth of body and maybe tuck those pins down ever so slightly, but two really nice individuals. Give them a big round of applause. Winner of that class was Spoken for AJ Blue 92, exhibited by Marissa Spoke of Waterloo, and second went to Tristan Bishop. Well, we'll, uh, we'll just do our winter yearling class here. We uh, missed the boat on the spring yearling there, so we apologize to that young lady. But certainly a really nice individual here in our winter yearling showhorn heifer class, a heifer that's uh, going to be due here in the spring, one that you really appreciate her for the mass and squareness that she's got all the way through, a heifer that's hard-topped, square-made, really refined about that hawk. I really appreciate how she can handle on those hind legs out on the move. An exceptional individual in her own right. Give her a big round of applause. Winner of that winter yearling class was Vallow Hill. I won the lottery, exhibited by Donna Domro of Juno with one of the Gudex triumvirate on the halter. Now we will go back to our spring yearling, Milking Shorthorn.
Well, I'm certainly glad we were able to fit this heifer into the show here. A heifer that's got a lot of quality to her all the way through. She's silky about that hide. She's really refined all the way through. I love the head carriage in this heifer. Maybe if you would pick on her, you'd just like to see a little bit more drop to that rear flank. But a really nice individual. Give her a big round of applause. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Heavenly Zazi, exhibited by Kendall and Waddle of Waterloo. Now we will have fall yearling milking shorthorns. Another single entry here, we're rounding out our, our uh, heifer show for the short horn breed. A heifer that is extremely long in turn, in, in, all the way through. She's long about that neck. She's really long about that midsection of the body, and she carries that length back all the way through those hips and pins. I really appreciate that about this heifer. She handles that top line very, very well. When she gets out on the move, maybe you'd like to just see her square up from behind, but a really nice individual in her own right. Give her a big round of applause. Really nice heifer. Winner of that class was Easterbrook Lotto Liberty, exhibited by Donna Domro of Juno. We will now have the junior champion and reserve junior champion of the Milking Shorthorn Show. All right, we get into our Shorthorn Junior Champion, and, and we've just got three heifers out here to go for it. I think uh, all three of these are really, really nice heifers in their own right. you got a spring yearling down there that's a very uh, uh, angular heifer all the way through. She's got a lot of quality all the way through. You love that front end on that heifer. She blends so beautifully to that chest floor, uh, one that's uh, got a lot of chest to her uh, in terms of her depth. I appreciate that about her, uh, one that maybe you just like to balance her out that way and show me a little bit more depth of rear flank to go with it, but uh, an exceptional heifer in her own right. You got uh, your, your spring yearling here is one that, or excuse me, your, your winter yearling here is one that's got a lot of power and width all the way through, certainly has the most substance out of these three individuals, one that when you get behind her, you love the width of that rump structure that she has, and she's really refined about her bone work to go with that, so um, another really nice individual there. And then you got your really long uh, fall yearling here, one that uh, is just uh, so extended up through that head and neck region. She's got a gorgeous head and neck on her, uh, one that shows me a little bit of width through that chest floor, maybe just like to see a little bit more depth all the way through on that individual as well. With that being said, I think uh, I'm going to go ahead. I, I appreciate heifers that got uh, uh, strength all the way through and some substance to them. She might not be the most dairy heifer out here, but I'll go ahead and use that winter yearling for your junior champion. For reserve, go, yeah, go ahead. Give them a round of applause. For your reserve, I think it gets a little closer, but uh, I'll go ahead and I'll follow up with that spring yearling. Should be a reserve junior champion heifer. Congratulations, you guys.
Junior champion of the Milking Short Arm Show was Vallow Hill, I Won the Lottery, exhibited by Donna Domro. Reserve was Heavenly Zaza, exhibited by Kendallin Waddle of Waterloo. We will now show a milking short arm produce of dam. A really nice entry here for our produce dam two heifers that certainly uh, um, have a lot of quality to them all the way through. Obviously, the the dam of these guys is is working hard and and showing uh, some high quality calves here for. Us. So congratulations to them. Give them a big round of applause. Produce of Heavenly Badger Lindsay, exhibited by Donna Damra of Juno. Now we have Holstein Winter Yearlings. We hop back into our Holstein ring here. We get into our winter yearling class and two heifers that are both due here for uh, one's due at Christmas time, the other one's due in the spring. I think uh, the first place heifer here just overwhelms this heifer in second in terms of her overall mass and style all the way through. You really appreciate the depth of body that this heifer has. I think she's got that gorgeous rib structure. She's got that beautiful openness and spring to the top of that rib. I really appreciate that the chest floor on this heifer as well. She's got a gorgeous front end to her. She blends so smoothly into that shoulder and she comes comes out into that chine very, very well. Maybe if you're going to critique this heifer, you maybe just like to see her a little bit more refined about that bone work on that hock, but uh, a really nice individual in her own right. Heifer coming out in second, one that follows that same kind of pattern, just not as much to her. She's very, very correct in her makings. Maybe like to see her a little stronger over that top line, but two really nice individuals. Give them a big round of applause. Winner of that class was Cal Denier. I.K. and Samble E.T. exhibited by Brian Paulson. Second went to Callie Larson.
single entry here for a spring year in the Brown Swiss class and certainly one that could stand some competition as well. I have for that maybe not as cooperating quite as nicely on the halter, but when she gets her out and gets her rolling, I have for that she's got a gorgeous head and neck on her. She comes out of that neck very, very well. A one that is just so sleek into that neck. I like that about that heifer a lot. She's got a lot of dariness and quality all the way through. Maybe you'd like to see her strengthen up through that chest forward ever so slightly and come out forward and track forward on those front feet in particular. She just toes out ever so slightly, but a really nice individual in her own right. Give her a big round of applause. Winner of that class was Powerline Rasta Stefani Twin, exhibited by Kendall and Waddle of Waterloo. We will now have Fall Yearlings Brown Swiss. A big, strong, powerful heifer here coming out uh, in our winter yearling, or excuse me, in our fall yearling brown Swiss class. A heifer that is exceptional in terms of that overall strength and substance that she carries all the way through. You love the width to that rump structure as well. A heifer that's got exceptional depth of body all the way through. One that checks out very well on those hind legs. If you just pick on that heifer, you'd like to just peel a little bit of that condition off, but that's a bred heifer. She's due here in the fall, and uh, I won't be too hard on that. they got to be able to have that extra substance to develop that calf inside of them and keep on growing. So really nice individual there. Give her a big round of applause. Winner of that class was Oak Knoll Rasta Time Saver, exhibited by Kendall and Waddle, Waddle of Waterloo. We will now have the Brown Swiss Junior Champion run. And that'll be a spring calf from Kendall and Waddle, a winter calf from Kendall and Waddle, a summer yearling from Donna Domro and Michael Waddle, a spring yearling from Kendall and Waddle, and a fall yearling from Kendall and Waddle.
Well, we're out here for our Brown Swiss Junior Champion, and uh, certainly a really nice group of uh, heifers out here for this. I think uh, I've talked about them all enough in class. I'm going to go out here, and I'm going to shake the hand of your Junior Champion and Reserve and your honorable mention in that order, and then I'll be back for reasons. Thank you. When it comes down to it, I think that this uh, July Born Summer Yearling here just overwhelms the rest of them with her overall style and balance all the way through. She certainly has got the most drop to that rib structure for being proportional to her size. I think that this heifer has just got a little bit more cleaner top all the way through compared to the, the fall calf there coming out for a reserve. Fall calf for a reserve there is certainly one that uh, you love a lot of things about her. She certainly has got a lot of length to that head and neck region. I just like to see a little bit more drop to that rib structure today to get around this uh, beautiful July Born Summer Yearling here. And for your honorable mention, I think you could go a couple different ways, but uh, I know that that uh, big power. by Donna Domero of Juno. Reserve was Powerline Thunder Rain ET exhibited by Kenlin Waddle of Waterloo. Holstein Fall Yearlings. Haley Lefebvre, are you coming with your fall yearling? Two really nice fall year to round out our Holstein heifer class. I think this red heifer is exceptional in terms of her balance and angularity all the way through. She's a very, very high quality heifer. And, um, when you look at her being one that's going to be due here in a couple months, she certainly is a very angular heifer. And, and uh, she's not bagging up a whole lot yet, but she certainly has got an exceptional utter promise underneath her as well. A heifer that tracks out very, very comfortably. 
Young man's heifer here coming out in second, one that uh, is a very growthy heifer all the way through. You certainly like uh, uh, a lot of things about this heifer. She's got a beautiful spring to that rib cage uh, heifer that's due here in the fall as well. One that maybe is just carrying a little extra condition today. I'd like to see a little bit more width, width to that front shoulder there, or excuse me, into that front chest there, um, and, and not see her toe out quite as much. Track a little bit more square forward, but uh, two really nice individuals in their own right. Give them a big round of applause. Winner of that class was Crescent Mead, Akrat, Lunar Red. A very, very high quality heifer. And, um, when you look at her being one that's going to be due here in a couple months, she certainly is a very angular heifer. And uh, she's not bagging up a whole lot yet, but she certainly has got an exceptional utter promise underneath her as well. I have to track so very, very comfortably. Young man's heifer here coming out in second, one that uh, is a very growthy heifer all the way through. You certainly like uh, uh, a lot of things about this heifer. She's got a beautiful spring to that rib cage uh, heifer that's due here in the fall as well. One that maybe is just carrying a little extra condition today. I'd like to see a little bit more width, width to that front shoulder there, or excuse me, into that front chest there, um, and, and not see her toe out quite as much. Track a little bit more square forward, but uh, two really nice individuals in their own right. Give them a big round of applause. Winner of that class was Crest Mead, Akrat, Lunar Red, exhibited by Marissa Spoke. And went to Tom Bunkowski. We will now have the junior champion run for the Holsteins. And that will be a spring camp from Nails Valley and Travis Smith, Winter Camp from Jaden Bachleitner and Daniel Bone, Fall, Fall Camp from Ashley Christian and Alice Grokey, a summer yearling for Angela Pyrick. A spring yearling from Marissa Spoke and Tristan Bischoff. A winter yearling from Brian Paul and Callie Larson. And a fall yearling from Marissa Spoke and Tom and Koski.
a tremendous quality group of Holstein heifers out here today. Pulled out four in front of you guys that I think uh, just take it to the next level, taking nothing away from all these individuals that are kind of pulled to the side here. I think this is a very high quality group all the way down the line, but these four individuals kind of stand at the top to me. Uh, they're a little bit more of the show ready, high style kind of heifers. Uh, that little spring calf down there is just exceptional in terms of her overall rib structure and development. She's got a gorgeous open sweeping rib to her. I love the front end on that heifer as well in terms of how she comes out of that shoulder into that head and neck. Maybe you'd like to see her fill it in that crop ever so slightly, but just a beautiful, beautiful calf in her own right. Uh, calf coming out there in that second hole, uh, winter calf that I think is just follows that same type and kind. She's got that gorgeous development to that rib structure. She's beautiful in terms of how she blends into that shoulder. I love how she's full into that crops. She's hard topped. A heifer that uh, handles herself very, very well. Maybe you just don't. Uh, uh, you'd like to just see her walk a little bit more comfortable on that hind leg, show me a little bit more flex for that hawk, but uh, certainly a really, really nice individual in her own right as well. Then we've got a really high style, refined kind of a heifer in our summer yearling there, a heifer that's just beautiful in that front third, one that uh, comes out of that shoulder into that chine very, very well. She's long and clean about that head and neck, maybe not the most massive in terms of her overall depth of body, but she's very, very correct all the way through. Uh, one that I like quite a bit as well. Then you got your big powerful winter yearling down here, one that uh, is certainly exceptional in terms of overall width and strength all the way through. You love how she blends into that shoulder. She's got that gorgeous depth and expansion to that chest floor. She's got a really nice sweeping rib structure to her. Maybe you like to just see her put those thoroughs a little bit more centrally located between them hips and pins and knock that pin setting down ever so slightly, but a really, really nice individual in her own right as well. Uh, I'm going to go out here, I'll select your junior champion, your reserve, and your honorable mention in that order, and when I do so, I'll please give them a big round of applause, and then I'll come back for reasons. I think it is very, very close between all three of these heifers. Like I talked about them, I think they've all got one thing you'd like to change about them, but I just can't deny that little March calf for being, a, being as young as she is and as developed as she is. You can't go wrong. I think she can definitely grow into that front end um, and show me a little bit more blending of that parts as she gets older. and refinements to that bone work that she has. A very, very exceptional half her own right. And it is that quality and refinements and, and how she walks around the ring that takes her over your honorable mention there in that fall calf. Tremendous group of heifers. Give them one more big round of applause. Congratulations. Junior champion was Heat and Soul Tap Emma, exhibited by Sean Nails and Nails Valley of Houston Ford, Wisconsin. Reserve junior champion was exhibited by Ashley Christian of Oconomowoc. Water and, water and just water and uh, soda here. Sorry. 
sorry, I should have. I should have told you that before. No, that's fine. I didn't know if it was yours or. It's actually Kyle's, but Kyle said he'll share, he'll share it with us, so okay. that's, that's fine. That's right. Here we are. I'd also like to thank our two ring men for the last two days. Uh, Brian and Tony, you, you don't realize how difficult it is to stand here all day and just uh, not get run over and all those wonderful things. So a round of applause for them, please. Really nice three-year-old here with two calves, fresh in April. A cow that uh, is, is exceptional in terms of width all the way through. She's got a great uh, uh, leg on her as well. Maybe you'd like to see a little bit more refinement about that bone work, but she certainly walks around that udder very, very well. One that's got a beautiful four-udder attachment that blends very well into that body wall. Maybe you'd like to see a little bit more defined having to those rear quarters, but uh, an exceptional little three-year-old in her own right. Give her a big round of applause. Congratulations. Winner of that senior three-year-old brown Swiss class was Sugar, exhibited by Taylor Fletcher of New Glarus. Now we will have a four- and five-year-old brown Swiss, and then we will show up for brown Swiss champion. Single entry here in our four and five year old brown Swiss class, a, a cow that's had three calves, been milking since December. One that you definitely can give her her, her props for being as angular of a cow as she is for milking that long already. One that's got a lot of quality to that mammary system. She's got vein nation across the board on that udder. One that maybe you'd just like to see a little bit more defined having to those rear quarters, but an exceptional individual in her own right. Congratulations to her. Winner of that class was Cutting Edge B Nucleus, exhibited by Kendallin, Kendallin Waddle of Waterloo. We will now show for champion and reserve champion, Senior Brown Swiss. Just the two individuals out here for a Brown Swiss show um, for the for a senior champion. We've got a three-year-old here and a and a five-year-old cow that uh, both I think are exceptional in their own type and kind. This three-year-old is just tremendous in terms of her overall width all the way through. You love the width of that chest floor that she has. She stands straight forward on those front feet. A cow that's got a lot of tremendous rib structure all the way through. Uh, and then we got our five-year-old here, the one that uh, has a lot of quality and angular all the way through. She certainly is silky hided and she's got a lot of quality of that mammary system. And for overall here, I think we're going to go ahead and use that five-year-old. She'll be your senior champion. We'll follow it up with a three-year-old for reserve. Congratulations. Senior champion female was exhibited by Kendallin Waddle of Waterloo, reserve senior champion by Taylor Fletcher of New Glarus.
Callie Larson, do you have a two-year-old jersey? Bring, bring all the remaining cows to the doorway because we don't have that many cows left. So try to get all the cows over here so we can keep this moving. Two really nice individuals as we get into our, uh, our Jersey cows here. I think uh, a cow that starts off this class certainly is not the most angular heifer in the class, but uh, she's been milking a little longer than the second place individual. She's already short bred. A cow you definitely can appreciate her from, from the profile in terms of her depth of, of rib and openness all the way through. A cow that's got a lot more width all the way through. She's wider at that muzzle, a little more width to that chest floor and substance all the way through. A cow that I think has a definite advantage in mammary system as well. When you get behind this cow, you love the height and width at the top of that rear rudder. She certainly still has got a lot of quality to that mammary system. She's a little that shows me a little bit more bloom and capacity to that four quarters today than the cow coming out in second. Taking nothing away from this cow in second, you certainly admire the angularity and quality that she possesses in frame. A cow that's really refined in her bone work. You just like to see her a little fuller in the rear quarters today to get around the one in front of her, but two really nice individuals. Give them a big round of applause. Winner of that class was C.M. Colton Tula, exhibited by Michael Waddle of Waterloo. Second went to Callie Larson. Now we have junior two-year-olds Holstein.
These classes will be small, but if you want to see lots and lots of junior two-year-olds and senior two-year-olds, come tomorrow to the Futurity at 12.30, I think, right here in the show ring. So we'll have about 30 of them in the ring then. Three very different individuals here in our junior two-year-old Holstein class. I'm going to go ahead and use the young man's car here coming out in first. One that uh, uh, he's actually working on bagging her for the fraternity tomorrow, so she's not full by any means. And I'm okay with that. I think that this cow, from a functional standpoint, has a, has a huge advantage in terms of how she tracks out on the ring. I think she's got a way more athletic ability um, moving around the ring. She's way more comfortable tracking out than this heifer coming out in second. Furthermore, I think that this cow in first just has a lot more spring and, and openness to that rib structure today. Shows me a little bit more depth of that rear flank compared to this cow coming out in second. This cow in second here, you, you absolutely love the front end on this animal. She's got a gorgeous uphill run to her. She's blends smoothly into that shoulder. One that maybe you just like to see her a little cleaner all the way through. And then, as, as I said before, I just like to see this heifer be a lot more athletic on those hind legs. She just seems to want to walk around a little bit stiffer today. She's got a tremendous little mammary system on her. A really, really nice two-year-old there. Then the young lady's cow coming out here in third is one that uh, is uh, tremendous in terms of her overall width and, and, and ability all the way through. She's very, very complete heifer. One that you just like to see a little bit more youthful mammary system all the way through. Maybe see her a little snugger in that forward or attack but three really nice individuals. Give them a big round of applause. Winner of that class was Carbon Tropic Lily, exhibited by Brett Fleer of Wapan. Second went to Aaron Bone, and third to Haley Lefebvre. We'll now have senior two-year-old Holsteins.
Two really nice individuals here in our three-year-old class. I think uh, the Kyle that starts off this class wins it quite handily for me. Uh, just a tremendous uh, memory system on this cow, quality all the way through. She's got Vay Nation uh, uh, for days on this cow. You love the quality that she has at the top of that rear udder attachment. I think that's a, a definite advantage over our second place cow. In addition to that, this cow is uh, so square made and straight over that top line. She's hard top. She's square about that rump structure. She's got a gorgeous rib structure to go with that. Taking nothing away from this cow in second, I think this cow in second's got a lot of good things about her. She's got a tremendous mammary system as well, just maybe not quite as high and wide at the top of that rear attachment. My biggest issue with this cow is I just like to see her a little more flex to that hock today. She's just a little too straight in that rear leg for me, but uh, two really nice individuals. Let's give them a big round of applause. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Valewood SDK Harriet, exhibited by the Nails Valley Conglomerate of Suburban Houston's Ford. Second went to Daniel Bone. Single exhibit here in our Jersey four-year-old class, a cow that uh, you love the length and stretch that this cow possesses. She's so long and clean about that head and neck region. She's got a gorgeous uphill run to her, and she stands with tremendous width to that chest floor as well. A cow that's got a beautiful forward attachment that blends beautifully into that body wall. If you're in a pick on this cow, you maybe just like to shorten up those teats all the way around uh, from end to end there, but a really nice cow in her own right. Give her a big round of applause. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Calico Popfisk Boom, exhibited by Callie Larson of Watertown. Now we will show five-year-old jerseys.
two beautiful five-year-old Jersey cows in their own right. I think uh, it's very, very close between these two. You can switch them either way. Um, I just pulled them in line. I just wanted to sit, get them side by side there quick and see them, and I ended up switching them myself. I just prefer the overall quality and angularity on this first place cow. She's got a little bit more pop to the top of that rib cage today, a little bit more drop to that rib as well. A cow that uh, handles on those hind legs and gets around that mammary system with ease. I just prefer the overall quality to that mammary system today. She shows me a little bit more bloom to those four quarters. Uh, a cow that's in second here is one that uh, you certainly admire the, the big square rear bag that she possesses there. I'd just like to see a little bit more spring to that rib structure today and maybe see her blend into that body while ever so slightly into that forward attachment. But two really nice individuals there. Give them a big round of applause. Winner of that class was CM Victorious Gianna, exhibited by Michael Waddle of Waterloo. Second was CM Casino Piper, exhibited by Kenlin Waddle of Waterloo. We will now show for Jersey, Jersey Senior and Reserve Senior Champion. Really nice Jersey cow show out here. We've got five individuals that I think all have a, a definite uh, uh, ability to get out here and win this show. But uh, for me, I'm not going to use too much time here and talk about them. I talked about them plenty enough. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick with those two old cows. They'll be your champion in your reserve. Congratulations, you guys. Senior champion jersey was CM Victorious Gianna, exhibited by Michael Waddle of Waterloo. Reserve senior was CM Casino Piper, exhibited by Kendlin Waddle of Waterloo. Now we will have Holstein four-year-olds. If you have any groups for the colored breed classes, please get them to the uh, entry of the ring.
really high quality fourth cat or uh, excuse me third calf four year old here to, to, with a single entry in this class. A uh, beautiful red cow here that's just gorgeous in terms of her overall frame. She's got width to go with that. And then you get to that mammary system. We love this cow even more. She's got a tremendous forward attachment. Uh, and then you get to that rear udder, and it's just high quality all the way through. A cow that's got gorgeous uh, teat length and placement all the way down. Um, give her a big round of applause, an exceptional individual in her own right. Four-year-old Holstein was Mary B. Absolute Love and Red, exhibited by Mary Gundrum of Hartford. Now we will have a Jersey Produce. Just the one pair here for our Jersey produce and uh, two cows that are exceptional in their type and kind. You got them beautiful front ends on these two exhibits. They got clean bones all the way around and tremendous, uh, tremendous mammary systems to go with it. Give them a big round of applause. Congratulations. The Jersey produce was exhibited by Callie Larson of Watertown. Now we will show Holstein Age Cow. Single entry here in her age cow class is certainly one that can stand some competition as well. A tremendous frame cow. She's hard top. She's got that beautiful depth of both fore and rear rib. A cow that's really refined all the way through. You love how she tracks out so comfortable behind around that udder. And then when you get to that mammary system, just a truly an incredible udder. She's got a beautiful blending of the fore udder attachment, venation all the way through. Very desirable T length and placement on this cow. Um, tremendous, tremendous width all the way through on that animal as well. Give him a big round of applause. Congratulations. Winner of that class was SNS Crest Avalanche Sailor, exhibited by Travis Smith, Smith Crest Holstein's Watertown. We will now so show for Holstein Senior and Reserve Senior Champion. Once again, any groups, get them to the ring. Color breeds, any other breeds, Holstein, whatever.
down would be better. I spent a lot of afternoons laying down just to get my All right, we're going to be doing a couple things here. And the, with uh, these cows out here, we'll be selecting our uh, champion senior Holstein cow. And then uh, after that, I'm going to go out and just announce the, the best stutter and then our bread and own after that. Um, but uh, before I do so here, I just kind of want to talk a little bit about these cows. We've got some two-year-olds down here. I think both of them are high-quality kind of caliber cows. You love the, the dariness and angularity on that first place two-year-old there. Tracks on a tremendous set of feet and legs. The second place cow, you love the, the width of that front end that she has. She's got that gorgeous uphill run to her. Then we get into our three-year-olds here. We've got a very high style, high quality mammary system on this first place uh, cow. What a, what a gorgeous mammary system it is. She's got venation uh, across, across the board on that udder uh, cow that uh, is just uh, so much silkiness and quality all the way through. Um, and then you got your red cow there, another one that's got a tremendous mammary system as well. Just like to see her get out on those wheels a little bit more comfortable. Um, show me a little more flex for that hock. And then we get into our four-year-old red cow down there, a tremendously framed cow that uh, has a tremendous mammary system as well. You love uh, the venation and quality that she possesses on both that fore and rear. And then we got our big powerful age cow down there, a cow that just puts together the overall style and angularity with tremendous power and width to go with it. You love the width of that muzzle, the width of that chest floor. And then when you get behind her, she's just an absolute Mack truck. You love that width of that rump structure that she has, big boxcar uh, rump on her, a cow that uh, has a tremendous mammary system to go with it, very youthful for, uh, for putting uh, as many calves as she's had through her already. Um, I'm going to go out here and I'm going to select your uh, senior champion, Holstein, your reserve, and your honorable mention in that order. And when I do so, please give them a big round of applause, and I'll be back for my reasons. It's very, very close between these two individuals. I think uh, if you're going to look at these two going down into the fall, um, I think uh, you might have a better chance of uh, uh, competing with this younger three-year-old here. I think this cow just got a tremendous mammary system. She'll be your best setter of the show. But I can't deny that age cow down there. I think she just puts it all together today. A cow that's just exceptional in her overall strength and power to go with that tremendous mammary system that she has. I think there's just, uh, just no holes in that kind of a cow. I think you can pick this three-year-old part a little bit more. I just like to see her a little bit fuller into that uh, crops area today, and I'd like to see a little less set to that hock and square her up from behind. But what a tremendous mammary system that that young cow has. She'll be your best setter, as I said before. And then we get into our uh, our bread and own here. Uh, there's three individuals out here. We got our second place two-year-old, our second place three-year-old, and our first place four-year-old down there. For your champion bread and own, we'll use that uh, red cow down there as your four-year-old. She'll be your champion bread and own. Congratulations. Congratulations. Give everybody a big round of applause. Senior champion was SNS Crest Avalanche Sailor, exhibited by Travis Smith. Reserve senior champion was Valewood SDK Harriet, exhibited by Sean Nails, and she was also best uttered. 
And Dodge County bred and owned was Mary B. Absolute Love and Red, exhibited by Mary Gundrum of Hartford. Any and all group classes, please get them organized. Any additional group classes? A really nice group of uh, three individuals here for our, our best three females, and I think each one of these is very high quality in terms of their type and kind. This uh, four-year-old is just absolutely tremendous in terms of her overall frame, and, and she gets around that udder with ease of, and the tremendous udder that it is as well. And we got your two-year-old there, uh, Red Cow, that's just a, just a beautiful profile kind of a cow as well with a gorgeous forward attachment on her, and then a really, really nice young developed calf there. They'll be your uh, uh, first place uh, Three, uh, three best uh, females, give them a big round of applause. Three best females exhibited by Mary Gundrum of Hartford. Now we have a produce of dam. Two beautiful heifer calves here for our produce of dam. Uh, exceptional uh, heifers that got a lot of high style and quality all the way through. They track out on a tremendous set of feet and legs. Beautiful, beautiful rib structures to them as well. They'll be your first place produce of dam. Give them a big round of applause. I think that rounds out uh, the show today. Um, I just
Just want to thank everybody for allowing me to come out here and, and, and uh, had the privilege to come judge this show and work with these kids. I had a great time this morning doing the showmanship uh, workshop there, and, and I think that there's a lot of high-quality uh, youth out in this, this county. Um, just a tremendous little show that you guys put on. I want to thank uh, all the staff here and the guys that have been working with me in the ring uh, for all the help today and, and having me come out and do this show. Thank you again. I appreciate it. Uh, have a good one, guys. One more round of applause for our judge, Tanner Morrison, and uh, thank you for all for coming, and we'll see you again next year. See you again, sir. Maybe an expo. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you. See you, Kyle.